<laughs> hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. In today's episode, you're just hanging out with me. We're gonna do a little bit of walking and talking. I gotta go to the OXO. Um, so we're just gonna talk about what's on my mind. Today, we're probably gonna talk a little bit about things that we used to talk about on this channel, like, I don't know, cryptocurrency, the state of the world, and yada, yada, yada. Again, whatever comes to mind. Look at this guy. Look at, look at Gizmo going hog wild over there. Anyways, I wanted to show you a little bit of our bathing suits and our towels because, again, I know a lot of you guys are wondering where have I been because I'm, you know, trying to trying to make content for this particular channel, but it's hard because I've been so busy, you know, doing so many things. All right, so um, the reason that we're doing this video right now as well is because, well, there's no power. I'm gonna tell you about that in a second. And since there's no power in the house, well, I don't have a choice, but I gotta figure out something to do. So let's go do it. Let's take a little walk and talk, run some errands, and at the same time, uh, tell you what's going on with everything out here. So, um, yeah, you know, long story short, let's give you a little heads up here. It gives me, he's like, hey, I wanna go out. No, buddy, you're gonna have to stay here for a minute. But anyways, so, you know, the reason the power went out is because they're actually installing some breaker or something, I don't know, they're installing something over there uh on the other side of the block we'll see in a second as we walk that way um <clears throat> and so they had to turn the power off because otherwise you know they'll get electrocuted and all that good stuff so here i'll point the camera forward so you guys can see up ahead uh, actually I'll, I'll just point when we get closer but anyways guys yeah so um in today's episode uh you know i just want to talk to you guys about you know all the things that are in my head you know starting with uh you know everything about you know whether it's cryptocurrency or the state of the world or what have you you know what i mean there's a lot of things to discuss and talk about as always uh but i haven't been making many videos and i haven't been talking much on this channel because i've been just crazy busy i'm not gonna lie in fact that's, again that's why i was showing you the bathing suits and stuff like that because you know this past week we you know we were at the beach we were at the cenotes you know um, i'm now starting to do workouts and you know just i can go on and on all right so let's watch these guys work real quick so it seems like they're installing something over here, doing something. Not quite sure, but it's some work. It's gonna take a while, so that's why I was like, "All right, let me uh, let me go and uh, you know run a few errands real quick." So you know, I gotta go to the OXO. I actually have to pay my phone bill, and at the moment, you know, at the moment I don't have a phone signal. So usually out here it's pretty pretty good because. Uh, you know, if you don't have a phone signal, it's totally fine because you have your internet and you just get all your signal and everything from uh, from the Wi-Fi. But if the power goes out, well, not only do you have no Wi-Fi, but you got no phone signal. So that's why I'm going to OXO so I can pay my phone bill so I can have a phone signal. So, you know, the whole phone situation is very different out here and it's not like necessary for me to have uh, my phone bill paid all the time, especially if I'm not using it and I can just use wi-fi so why pay it but then again like i said you know they, they cut the power off i'm like all right i gotta go pay my phone bill because i have things to do um, as you guys already know most people out there that have a smartphone um you guys use that smartphone as like a second computer as a, like a little mini mini office what have you so no different with me so i need to take care of that so I'll show you the front, but the thing is, I'm sure most of you guys have already seen my neighborhood, know where I live. And if you want more context and you want to see this view, you can uh, subscribe to my other channel, my Merida Mexico channel, the one in which I'm always talking about um, living out here, living in Mexico, traveling, and all that other good stuff. Again, if you like this content, you like the other content, you already know, subscribe, like, all the stuff down there. Anyways, all right. So let's talk a little bit about crypto. Look. You know, a lot of people right now, you know, they're, you know, um, first of all, Bitcoin. Wow, you know what I mean? <laughs> I know I really haven't talked much, much about Bitcoin. I used to talk about Bitcoin all the fucking time, all the time, all the time. Um, but ever since, you know, we've been, you know, uh, at this, uh, this price range of like, I don't know, what are we at now? 50, 60K, 40 something K? I think we're like past 50K at the moment. I really haven't made much videos because I don't know what else to say except I told you so. Um, and so here we are, you know, right now <laughs> um, at this price range. But, you know, other things are going on right now. In fact, we have other cryptocurrencies out there, such as Dogecoin. 
What is the only cryptocurrency that you should invest? Dogecoin! It's the people's currency, you know it's the best. This one. The most fun and ironic crypto, that is for sure. So crypto! We're taking Dogecoin to the moon. To the moon! That's right. You know what I mean? Um, you know, making, uh, making moves out there. And so, we're going to talk a little bit about that because the other day, Elon came out and basically started bashing Bitcoin. And a lot of people just don't understand that whole story, the whole thing behind that. I've been in this space for a long time. I've been a fan of Elon for a while. You know, I got my, you know, I got my, I got a few things, you know, about my opinions on him. But at the end of the day, I think he's on the, on the good guy's side, like it or not. And, um, you know, basically, you know, a lot of the, uh, what he was doing with, uh, with um, him saying that he's not going to be accepting Bitcoin anymore. You got to remember, that's Tesla that's not accepting Bitcoin anymore. And he, okay, he is just a, a member of the board of directors um, within Tesla. And he doesn't have the, the vote, you know what I mean? The last vote. Me, me, you know, in other words, Tesla's decision to not use Bitcoin anymore that's not his decision 100 that's also the company's the decision and there's other people in his ears kind of telling him hey this is what we want to do now and uh, what we want you to do now the whole doge thing that's a completely different story he's again um a lot of people are thinking out there like oh he's there pumping the bags he's out there trying to you know manipulate the market and do all these other things but that's not what he's doing at all in fact kind of like the opposite of that where he's actually you know really making a great point as to you know the whole thing as to why dogecoin is a better coin than bitcoin for this particular purpose which is what he wants to use it for which is um in order for um his ecosystem to have a currency um in which they can use within the whole ecosystem so what do i mean by that well you know a way in which you can pay um not just to buy the car but pay for services um all across the board you know when it comes to your your new tesla or whatever you know in that ecosystem um on top of that you know we, i've talked about this many 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 times on this channel um please check out um the bitcoin for beginners uh videos uh, for more context on this but have i said before you know we're heading we're heading into a completely different uh, paradigm right now in a completely different universe and a completely different everything and so what does that mean you know right now we're moving into a near zero marginal cost world anyone that knows business you know that you gotta have cost marginal cost cost of doing business and so now as we're going into the future the cost of doing business is getting cheaper and cheaper and cheaper so the same thing with this you know in fact again i'm trying to just skip forward on this but long story short you know he plans on having each Tesla automobile, Tesla trucks, you know what I mean? The whatever, um, the cyber truck, you know, having these things in a sense, um, be able to mine cryptocurrency, be able to produce cryptocurrency, be able to do things with cryptocurrency. In fact, where you might be able to, um, in a sense, you know, you'll be able to like um, very easily, like let's say take a, and this is in the future now, okay? It's just hypothetical, but you would be able to take like, a, let's say a Tesla Uber that would be on a smart grid and in a sense be carbon neutral, okay? And you would go from point A to point B and when you get, you know, to point B, your final destination, you either um, earned cryptocurrency or you, um, your your ride is going to be significantly significantly less in price because um of all these other factors you know that have allowed for the price to go down so for example if you are like again the street here as you guys can see imagine the street would be an electrical grid and the car that's on the grid you know the, the car that's driving on the street now is getting powered by the grid the grid is getting powered by you know either the sun or wind or or whatever and um and basically making it so that you know let's say that pretend that's a tesla that as that's driving down the road it's producing energy to the point where it's making more energy than what the car needs so that extra energy is now being used to you know mine cryptocurrency for example and um, by the end of your trip you probably earn i don't know five doge coins you know just to give you a quick little example you know just to give you know an idea of what we're going with all this and so you know bitcoin unfortunately i love bitcoin and you know i'm all about it but that that cannot be really possible or feasible 
on the Bitcoin network. Now, Dogecoin and other coins are similar um, status or similar stature, similar, you know, for sure. For sure they can do something like that. And so, you know, again, you know, that's one of the many, many, many things in which, uh, you know, um, are gonna, you know, happen going forward here. So, you know, going back to Elon Musk, you know, um, I've been, you know, around this space for a long time and he's never really been a fan of uh, Bitcoin. He knows fully well, he knows fully well that Bitcoin produces very little energy and that the banking system, that basically any system out there produces way more energy and is way more polluting than Bitcoin ever will be, period, in the story, let alone other coins and other cryptocurrencies and stuff like that. And again, the fact that, you know, the fact that he said something like that the people that know like me I, I know what he's doing you know what i mean it's all propaganda it's all part of uh you know what i mean like um look here don't look over there um if in order to separate the people that know and don't know i already know what's going on i already know what he's doing i already know what's up with this it's all marketing it's all whatever and um you know, there's a lot of people out there that still have no idea. You know, they, they have no idea of the things that Elon has said in the past about Bitcoin, that he said in the past about energy consumption, that he said in the past about other things. Again, I love Tesla, I love Elon, I love all this stuff, but let's let's get it, you know, straight here. Um, you know, do you know what it takes to produce some of these batteries? Do you know what it takes to, to build some of these cars? The pollution and all these other things that come along with that. Um, the mining of the lithium, and I could go on and on and on. So these things, you know, um, are not necessarily environmentally safe even though they are environmentally friendly cars you know what i'm saying um and so it's the same thing you know what, what i'm going with that you know basically um his disdain you know his uh disdain for bitcoin has a lot to do with many other things sorry i'm like hearing noise behind me i don't know it's like okay that was something else <laughs> anyways so but his disdain for bitcoin is you know a little bit more complicated than what you know most people think out there you know the thing is that you know a lot of people don't don't even remember or realize that he is um one of the guys one of the main instrumental guys that invented paypal and back then when he was inventing paypal he was inventing internet money but as soon as the government found out what the hell he was doing the government was like no you're not you ain't making no internet money what are you talking about yada 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 fast forward they had to create paypal which is you already know what paypal is it's just an intermediary that's all it is it's just allowed uh, it allowed people to do digital transactions on the internet it allowed people to purchase things on the internet it allowed people to function okay digitally but you know at the end of the day paypal is not the best option we got way better options out there and there's way better things out there going you know but at the end of, but going back to that you know he was one of the creators about this so with that being said you know are you kidding me? You don't think that he knows exactly what Bitcoin is and what cryptocurrency is and the need for all this? Remember, all the money that's being printed and given to his company in order for his company to, okay, be at the status that it's at now and all this and all this other stuff. So the reality is, is that, you know, he knows more than what he is leading on the, 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 the plebes, the normies out there to believe. Now, if you've been following him for a while, if you've been in this crypto space for a while, if you know a little bit of back knowledge, like the what I'm giving you now, then all of a sudden you realize what he's doing. You know, you know what I mean? Um, and, um, you know, there's a lot of theories to all this. You know, right now, um, you know, there's 25% of all the Dogecoins in existence are owned by one person. And a lot of people are like, oh, it's probably an exchange. Oh, it's probably Robin Hood. It's probably, no man, honestly, in my honest opinion, I think that it could be Elon. I don't know, I could be 1000% wrong. I have no idea. I really have no idea, none of us do. But if I was a betting man, I would bet it's him. Because there's a lot of incentive, you know, for him to have all that Dogecoin and use, uh, and use that, pla you know, use the platform like Twitter and use all the other platforms on the internet in order to promote not just Dogecoin, but promote, um, you know, a real digital currency, a, a real solution to the dollar, a real solution to everything that we're going through right now. So, you know, if you want to hear more about my thoughts on this, okay, because I have a lot of thoughts and a lot to talk about when it comes to this, check out the podcast, okay? We're, we talk about this on the podcast on a regular basis. If you want more information on that, please check down below. All the links are down below. Every Tuesday and Thursday night, we go live um, at 9 p.m. Eastern. Um, but again, you can also check out the podcast at your leisure on your favorite podcasting app by checking, you know, just just uh, searching for Shotgun News, okay? But anyways, I digress. We're gonna pick this up on the way back. I'm gonna go inside. I gotta pay my phone bill, as I said earlier, and uh, see what else I can pick up in there. Um, what other goodies I can pick up in there. And uh, and then, yeah, you know, we're gonna walk back 
and keep talking about whatever's on my mind. So, hope you guys enjoyed the little Elon, you know, Musk uh, conversation that we've had so far. Because if you did enjoy this and you want to hear more about this, you have any questions, you want anything, please use the comments below. L let me know what other things you would like me to talk about relating to not just this, but to anything in particular, okay? In fact, I want you guys to start giving me ideas as to what you want me to talk about and I'll start talking about it and we'll go from there. So, all right, let me stop wasting time. Let me get in there, pay the phone bill. I got to head back. It might rain. I don't want to get wet or than what I already am. All right, so see you guys on the way out of here. All right, guys, phone bill paid. Good to go. All right, so now we're on our way out of here. In fact, uh, one thing I want to do is I want to stop by this little store that I stop by all the time is I want to get some uh, some pork fat that I need to get. So let me ask her and see if she has any, and we'll go from there. Hola, eh, ¿tienen manteca de puerco? Yeah. ¿En botellita de plástico? ¿En bolsitas? Ah, ok, ok, deja, deja. Ah, ok, ok, está bien. Muchas gracias, hasta luego. Provecho. Ok, all right. Yeah, because uh, they had the pork fat that I wanted. It's already melted and good to go, but it's, uh, they, they give it in bags. Like, ok, you know how like people right now are putting gasoline in their bags? Um, you know, like putting gasoline in plastic bags and storing it that way for the gas crisis. <laughs> Anyways, so with that being said, uh, you know, Mexico does it a lot with a lot of things. You know, like usually it's, it's like hot salsa or some peppers or something, you know, to go with your tacos. And in this case, they're putting pork fat in the little bags. And, um, hey, how's it going? Hi. <laughs> hey. hey. <laughs> Oh wow, they fixed this up already too. See, I know the people that own this house. Once this is all said and done on my other channel, I'm gonna do a video on this uh, property. Anyways, back to um, what I was saying about the pork fat, because I'm sure some of you guys are interested in that. Anyways, what they were basically telling me is like, hey, if you want, bring your own plastic bottle. We ran out of plastic bottles and we'll fill it with pork fat for you. I'm like, hell yeah, sounds good. So I'll, I'll do that. Um, because a lot of times they don't have the pla <laughs> Depending on where you buy from, they'll give it to you in a plastic bottle, you know, like a bottle, or they'll give it to you in a bag. I don't want it in a bag. That's just horrible. It's again, who the hell buys gasoline in a plastic bag? I don't want to get into it. So the same thing with pork fat. I mean, unless you're going to use all the pork fat at one time. I don't know. Um, I use a little bit of time. I use it, you know, it's, a, it's oil, you know, it's fat, you know, to cook with. So anyways, long story short, I'm gonna get an empty bottle, save it and bring it next time and have them fill it up. And it's gonna be like $2 maybe, less than that, to fill it with uh, pork fat. And my God, you know, that's the best, uh, that's one of the best ingredients that uh, you can have out here um, or anywhere really, you know, a little pork fat, lard, whatever you wanna call it. But r the real stuff, you know what I mean? Not, not something that comes like processed from a factory, no Crisco, none of that crap. Like real pork fat rendered from an actual pig that probably got killed a few days ago. That's what I'm talking about. And um, you know, what do I make with that? Well, all kinds of shit. Like um, my friend came back from New Orleans the other day and he brought me a bunch of goodies. And one of the things he brought me was some Jiffy. You know, you know Jiffy, the cornbread box make, you know, the making cornbread out of a box. You know, the, the Jiffy is so awesome. By the way, I I make my own cornbread, but it's uh, a little hard to get the right. Uh... Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, so I want to see how the, the light guy is doing. Oh, they're still working on it. All right, never mind. So hopefully by the time I, I go around the block and go get some ice cream and head back home, um, the light should be almost back on. So I can take a nice shower, put on the AC and get to work. I gotta, first of all, I gotta edit this video on top of a bunch of other videos I gotta edit since, like I said, you know, in the last week I've been at Cenotes, you know, we went to the beach, you know, we had a pool party. Oh my God, so many things. And again, if you wanna know and see more of that, check out my other channel where um, I post all that stuff, you know, on a regular basis. So, you know, with that being said, um, I forgot what the hell we were saying. Oh yeah, about the pork fat, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, um, you know, pork fat with cornbread. Oh man, can't go wrong with that. In fact, my mouth is watering, man. I'm not gonna be making any cornbread today, but next in the next few days, I might be making some cornbread. So, you know, can't wait for that. I got my cast iron skillet. Mm, so excited. <laughs> all right so also excited to cook a lot of the new orleans uh 
goodies that he brought um so christian i've been making her like uh, jambalaya and i've been making her like dirty rice and she loves it she loves it so much so i mean we've been actually eating a lot of uh norland's type cuisine at the house lately because you know christian loves it so that's great and uh if you know anything about cooking uh in the sense of like uh you know i'm i'm cuban that's my background um a lot of spanish you know um a lot of uh, cooking uh how do i say it's a lot of cooking techniques and a lot of a lot of um knowledge in, in spanish cooking cuisine um cuban cooking is very similar cuban cooking is very similar um to cajun cuisine um basically what cajun food is what new orleans cuisine is it's spanish food mixed with some creole influence you know the blacks uh um the slaves you know all that stuff all that uh, heritage that came from that and the french that that was the french is like you know what added that like extra layer of uh of awesome you know to new orleans cuisine but for someone like me that loves Spanish food, I uh, love Cuban food, I love all those strong, heavy flavors. Um, I understand the, the history, the heritage, you know, everything that comes with that. I mean, I love, I love New Orleans cuisine. And so, yeah, I know how to cook it. I definitely don't know how to cook it like, uh, like anyone from New Orleans, from New Orleans. All right, you know, that's for sure. But I try my best, you know what I mean? And I did work at a, you know, actually an authentic uh, Cajun restaurant, oof, back in the day. So I learned a lot, I learned a lot. And I, you know, those techniques are, you know, on point, you know, you can use them for many things. So, yeah, I don't know. I just went off on talking about cooking for over five minutes there. Um, again, what's on my head. So I wanted to talk about something and I didn't want to make it the, the main topic of today's episode, but it's something I want to bring up. So last episode on this channel, I talked about the fact that, look, the reason I'm not making that many videos for this channel is because I'm busy and I'm really, really busy. And like the only time I have time is like right now, the power went out. I have to go run a few errands. Let me take the camera and walk around. I have a lot of uh, videos um, and topics and uh, things that I filmed for my travel channel. So basically, you know, this is the only channel that's lacking. So I was like, all right, I got to make content. I forced myself to make content and I want to make content. In fact, we're, we're going to get back to talking about a lot of the things I used to talk about. But the, the reality is the main, uh, the, the, what I want to talk about right now is the fact that, you know, um, I don't have enough time, you know, to meet all of you guys anymore and interact with you guys as much anymore. Now, now again, let me reiterate and reemphasize what I mean by that. I still talk to all of you guys. We still have conversations. You guys can email me and I respond. You guys can hit me up on, you know, whatever, Facebook, whatever, and I try to respond. You Comments, I respond to just about every comment. Um, and so, by the way, Instagram is not a good place to hit me up anymore because I get so much spam on Instagram that I just don't have time to look through all the spam, you know, just to see, you know, one of you guys ask me a question like, I don't know, what, whatever, you know what I mean? Hey, what's your favorite restaurant in Medina? <laughs> whatever you know what i mean so unfortunately that's the situation there so with that being said i want to keep meeting you guys i want to see you guys i want to be with you guys i want to hang out with you guys i want to meet you guys all right but before i used to have plenty of time in order for me to you know basically have one-on-one -on -one meetings with you guys you know a lot of you i tell you guys hey if you're out here and uh, you guys want to hang out with me hit me up i'll let you know what my schedule is like i guess they're fixing something over here as well see <laughs> i guess they're fixing something there as well so seems like there's a few things going on in the neighborhood but the neighborhood is growing okay so that's why you know they, they have you know the, the power trucks are out here on a more regular basis because they're upgrading the grid out here they're constantly upgrading the grid which is great trust me i'm you know very happy with that so not complaining at all you know what i mean let them do what they got to do it's a nice day it's windy we're good to go you know it's not as hot as the uh, other days anyways back to what i was saying so I want to keep meeting you guys. I want to keep interacting with you guys. I want to keep doing all that, but I, I, I'm only one man. I'm only one human. I don't have, you know, I have the same amount of time as you guys do, only I'm busier with like a gazillion other things. Not just making content, but living my life out here and doing so many other extracurricular activities that um, each day I have more and more things I'm doing, whether it's I'm, I'm working out, whether it's I'm, I'm cooking and uh, I got a shop for, you know what I mean? I got to, I'm doing more cooking, therefore, I gotta spend more time not just in the kitchen cooking for me and the wife but you know i'm um, going out there and uh, finding the ingredients and processing all that um on top of that you know the podcast that i do on top of that the videos that i make for my travel channel on top of that the the, the videos that i'm trying to make for this channel um and i could go on and on plus all the other things that i do 
I have so many things that I do. Now, um, you know, I'm starting to dabble into, you know, a little bit of the trading stuff. I'm, I'm starting to, tab, to dabble into, you know, doing other stuff with my computer because now I got a big, you know, badass computer in which I can do so many things with and I can go on and on. In fact, there's a lot of things, a lot of fucking things that I'm, I'm constantly doing and I just, I'm not gonna lie, I just don't have any time. Now, you know, that whole saying about, oh, when somebody says they don't have any time, what that really means is they don't have any time for you. And again, look you know i want to re-emphasize on that i have plenty of time for all of you guys again this is why i'm making these videos that's why i keep making videos that's why i keep interacting with you guys pretty much you know again you leave a comment i respond you know you you leave me an email i try to respond as soon as i can and i can go on and on i'm, I'm here i'm here for you guys but i cannot i cannot you know continue meeting all of you guys all the time because i just don't have time every single day there's more and more of you guys coming out here and i just don't have time to meet one or two people per day every single day in between everything else I gotta do. I, I just don't have time. And I'm just being 1,000% honest with you guys. And I, and I wanna meet with you guys and I try to meet with you guys when I can, when the schedule permits and stuff like that. It actually helps if you're living out here or you're moving out here because it gives me more time, gives us both more time to, to schedule something. But some of you guys coming out here for three days and you know, you guys are telling me, hey, I got this time at this moment, at this whatever, at this hour to meet. I'll see you there. And I'm like, bro, I don't even know who the hell you are, bro. What do you, what do you mean? You know, why are you talking to me that way? You know what I mean? Like, it's like, like, as if you know me and as if like, I have to go see you or talk to you. So, and I could go on and on. Most of you guys, 95% of you guys are beyond amazing and awesome. And I love you guys. And I, I mean, like I said, I want to keep hanging out with you guys and meeting you guys. But you know, there's that few out there that just don't get it. And in fact, when I made last video, just talking about the fact, hey, I have less time, I'm doing way more. Um, I wanna keep meeting you, whatever. The same thing I just said now, a lot of you guys got really upset with me. And I'm like, and maybe didn't leave it in the comments, but for sure I got emails and for sure I got like a lot of hate. And I'm like, bro, are you are you kidding me right now? With all the free things that I do and all the awesome things that I do. And, and, and again, look man, this is why I don't mind speaking my truth and I don't mind saying these things out here because again, you know, those those people that don't understand those are people i don't want to meet anyway and i'm fucking straight up 100 percent honest everyone else that understands i'm meeting you guys you guys know everyone out there knows um that's interacted with me knows that I, i'll meet you i'll talk to you i'll hang out with you we'll do all that but you gotta understand you know it's like how can how can how can you want me to understand your situation if you're not even willing to understand my situation you know what i mean and that's as simple as that, you know what I mean? It's just like anything else, you know, like a friendship or family or anything, you know, uh, along those lines, you know, we, everybody has to be on the same page. Now, I know I was ranting about that for a while and what I really, you know, wanted to say before I even went on my rant was the fact that, and I have, I have come up with a solution in order to continue hanging out with you guys and continue, you know, meeting you guys um, without it impeding on my personal life on, on an everyday basis because that's another thing too guys you got to remember a lot of the, a lot of you guys want me to you know go out to dinner with you guys and bring the wife and listen man this is my channel me doing my thing you know same as a travel channel is basically me doing my thing and and the wife you know she has her life and she's doing her thing and she has her friends and she has all these other things you know she can't be coming out to dinner every fucking time she can't be hanging out every time she can't she doesn't care you know what i mean as much as i care and again it's the same thing with her you know what i mean i don't care about her fans per se i don't care about you know what i mean a lot of things i mean i i love and i care about everything she does but you know what i'm saying you know what i mean like her world and her bubble is very different than mine and i go i go hang out with her and do things with her and she comes hangs out with me and does things with me but you cannot expect her i cannot expect her i mean i don't but some of you guys do for for her to be you know be part of this whole thing here and it's like just being fair anyways to what i was saying so last month i did a meetup a fan meetup and it went phenomenally well we had over 25 i think i want to say 30 people but let's just say 25 people and it was beyond amazing this 22nd okay the 22nd of this month of may i'm having another meetup okay and in this meetup um that i'm having um we're gonna have even more people we already have over 30 people signed up and that's what i'm gonna be doing guys because at the end of the day if you want to meet me i will make it available but it has to be now on my schedule and um that's what we're doing these meetups there's just too many of you at this point you know what i mean there's just so many people and again I'm happy that I get to help all you guys out. I'm happy that, you know, um, all this is going on. I'm, ha I'm happy. I I'm beyond ecstatic. But, you know, I, I just I can't interact in 24 hours a day. You know what I mean? It's just that, unfortunately, I got a life to live. So with that being said, I'm doing these meetups once a month. 
I mean, we're the meetup number two is coming up in, in a week, and um, we're already planning out meetup number three because again, there's just so many people, so much to do, so much to talk about. And again, you know, um, it's not just even about meeting me. At this point, I want people to meet each other. I want you guys to meet each other. I want you guys to interact with each other. I want you guys to network. I want you guys to be, you know what I mean? Be friends with each other um, and, and meet each other. You know, now, I, granted, you know, not, not everyone's gonna be friends and not everybody's gonna see eye to eye on, on a lot of things. But I, I, you know, just from my, my past uh, meetings and the past things that I've done so far, it, it works out really well, guys. You know what I mean? You guys actually, you know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, most of you guys get along and uh, at the very least, if you disagree with X, Y, Z, you can still talk about it. You guys are still, you know what I mean? Like, it's still like a, like a, a fun conversation and um, it's a fun gathering and it's a fun everything. So, with that being said, what I'm gonna start doing from now on So with that being said, sorry, what, what I'm gonna start doing from now on is that, unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to meet with you guys anymore the way that I used to. Now, it's not to say that I can't meet with some of you guys. There are some of you guys that are providing me with some other value, not dinner. I'm talking about like a business proposal. Um, you know, just a bunch of shit. You guys know who you are. You guys know exactly what's going on. And so then, yeah, of course I'm gonna meet with you guys because I provided value for you guys. Now you're providing some value to me and we're gonna provide value for each other. Well, hell yeah, I, I, I can, you know, we can schedule something and we can figure something out, especially since we're both on the same page and understand each other and help each other with that, like, you know, uh, on the whole scheduling thing. So yeah, for sure, there's a bunch of you guys that I'm still gonna be hanging out with um, that I've never met before. Um, and we're still gonna be, you know, be able to meet and stuff like that. But for just your average casual fan that just wants to invite me out to a beer or, or, or have a, a cup of coffee with me or whatever, I can't, I can't do these anymore because I just don't have the time. I really don't have the time. So that's why I'm doing the meetups once a month, where not only you can have a one beer with me, you can have plenty of beers with me. We can have a lot of fun. We can do all kinds of crazy shit. Um, and it's not just you and me, it's a, it's, it's a bunch of other like-minded individuals. And so, you know, trying to gather everyone in the same spot and trying to, you know, make this a thing, you know, because again, you know, we're, we haven't started number two yet and we're already planning number three. So these fan meetups, these meet and greets, they're gonna become a regular thing. And um, if you're out here, you can expect this. Um, if you guys are on my travel channel, you know, I've already been talking about this. I post this on the Facebook group and yada, yada, yada. That's basically how we all set this up. But no one on, on this channel knows much about it. Um, I haven't really talked about it. And last time when I made an episode and I was talking a little bit more about this, again, it wasn't, um, it, it seems like it wasn't, um, I don't know, like I, I didn't, I, damn, I can't think of the word right now, but what is it like? I, I wasn't expressing myself correctly or people didn't understand me right or whatever. But like I said, you know, I'm here. Every time I post a video, I know I'm getting comments and emails and all this stuff. So I'm, I'm here and I'm making myself constantly available. But, you know, things are changing. The ecosystem is growing. Um, we're doing things out here. Um, I'm helping people do things out here. And I can go on and on. And, um, and I will go on and on, but I'm not because I got to get some ice cream and I got to get home already because I... I now, you know, again, it's already starting to get late. So let me take you here real quick. Let me show you real quick what we have at this ice cream shop. This is my favorite ice cream place. It's like a, a couple blocks from my house. Come here all the time. I know the owners, they're fucking phenomenal. The ice cream here is phenomenal. Let me show you, let me show you what we got here. So look at that, we got pistachio ice cream. We got like um, some ice cream with like some strawberries, cookies and cream. That's probably what I'm gonna get right now. Not sure. I think it's nuts, I think it's corn, I think it's coffee, I think that's coconut or lime. There might be coffee as well, chocolate, strawberries, I think that's mame. And um, I think that's corn again or something else. I don't know, I'm not quite sure. In fact, let me ring the bell, get somebody out here, serve me some ice cream. But look at all these awesome ice creams. So. All right, there they are. All right, so let me get the ice cream and then we're gonna wrap it up on the way home, okay? <laughs> All right, guys, I got my ice cream. We're good to go. All right, so now we're walking back home and uh, starting to wrap this up. But yeah, guys, look, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, when I made the last episode and I was talking about, hey, I don't have that much time, yada, 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 
I'm not gonna lie. Like I, I thought most, I thought everyone's gonna understand. I didn't think it was gonna be a problem. But when I was, when I saw like a lot of hate, which by the way, I very rarely get here. I might get trolls, I might get whatever. But when I saw like a lot of people that were not happy with that, I was like, bro, are you kidding me right now? And look, I know a lot of you guys were totally understanding and totally okay with it and get it. You know, it's not a big freaking deal. Most of you guys, 95% of you guys get it. But when I saw there was a bunch of people that just didn't get it and they started getting upset with me, I was like, oh hell no. Oh, hell no. Because look, man, again, if you don't know me, you know me now. I don't play that shit, you know what I mean? I'm the nicest guy in the world. I'll give you the world. I mean, honestly, you know me. I, I look at all the free things that I, I provide for you guys, not just these videos, forget these videos, but like uh, basically, you know, um, you know, all the free stuff that I do, especially when it comes to moving out here, living out here, and then just, you know, all that stuff, you know what I mean? Plus all the free information I also give you on here because again, if a lot of you guys would have been listening to me for a while now, I'm sure a lot of you guys should be millionaires by now or something. So, you know, with that being said, um, yeah, you know, I just found it kind of, uh, I don't know. I want to say, I don't want to say I got insulted because I very rarely get insulted, but I was definitely chuckling inside and I was like, well, I'm glad I said what I said because you know, put it out there and, and not, 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 not have to worry. And again, people that act that way or, or respond that way to me, I mean, come on. You know, you basically are, you know, making your own bed, digging your own grave. You know, you're basically, you know, letting me know, oh, I'm glad that I'm not gonna meet with you. I'm glad, you know what I mean? And all that shit because, I mean, come on, man. We're all humans here. And if I can't, if I can't even get the same, uh, respect or decency that i give you guys i mean come on give me a break bro you know what i mean so i don't even know you people you know so but like i said i love you people i love all of you guys i love every single one of you every one of you guys that understands me and that doesn't understand me every one of you guys that hates me loves me whatever i love everyone it doesn't matter who it is um but yeah you know what i mean <laughs> it is what it is so all right guys i'm basically almost home all right, I gotta finish this up. I'm gonna be talking all day. You can tell I, 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 I'm dying to make more videos uh, and um, that I have been so busy. I haven't even had time to make videos and just talk to you. But hey, like I said, it is what it is. So with that being said, guys, don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share. Please hit that bell icon. Please stay awesome. And last but not least, the lights are on. Yeah. So time to take a shower and time to get back to work. So see you guys on the next one. Bye. Hey, Gizmo, the lights are on? Yes, they are. All right. And, and there he goes. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye. Much value. Rising, 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 rising. I can tell. Very trading. Shut up and take my money. This meme coin is looking funny. Let's make history together. In those we trust. Much trust. Jump on the hype train, bros. Cause even Snoop Doge knows. It's going up, don't drop it when it's hot Doge is the only crypto